I'm jealous, actually. Um, <laughs> looking back, Olivia, like, do you do you feel like salivary testing is a part of you now as a provider? Like, if you were to leave, if they didn't have salivary testing or wouldn't implement it, it'd be a deal breaker at this point. Like it's your standard of care. I, I think so. And I almost am kind of kicking myself because when I started working at the period of practice I worked at, that's probably 12 years ago now. He gave it to me. He's like, oh, you can do the saliva test if you want. And I was like, well, what does that mean? He, he's like, I don't know. <laughs> and so because he didn't really give me any information, I never did anything with it. Yeah. And so I'm like, man, I wish I had really pursued it back then because I could have had a better standard of care all these years. But what you don't know, you don't know. And now I know. Yeah. And I'm sure it's going to continue to grow and get better the more data that they have, even with doing saliva testing. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's really meaningful for patients to get down to the root cause of why they're having the symptoms that they have. I feel that way about the laser. Like mm -hmm. it's just my standard of care now. Like my laser, mm -hmm. it's an old laser, but it mm -hmm. decided not to work a couple weeks ago. And I had an SRP scheduled and I was like, but um, <laughs> what do I do? Like, <laughs> Obviously, 